Hello guys, welcome to the Chehook and in today's session we are going to look at the Quarkus and our main objective for today's session is to implement a Hello World program with a Quarkus using the JexRS REST Endpoint API and second, test the live reload feature provided by a Quarkus during our development. So before we begin, let's know a little bit more about Quarkus. Quarkus has been designed with the container first philosophy, which means it has a low memory footprint and low memory uses. And secondly, it has a very quick and fast startup time. It has been recently released by Red Hat and uh, it is quite popular in the cloud native domain where developers are building cloud native application. And if you are building a cloud native application, then I think Quarkus is a very good candidate for your development. To start with our first Hello World program with the Quarkus, head over to code.quarkus.io. And here you will see a very similar uh, startup page, which is quite similar to the Spring Boot IO, where you generate the Spring Boot application. So similar settings has been provided by Quarkus to us. Here you can specify the package name. So in our case, I'm putting com.jhook and the artifact name. So here I'm putting hello world. And in the current example, I'm using Gradle. Right now, Gradle has a preview version, but we can use it. And once you are done with this, you can just click on generate application. And as you can see here, you need to download this zip file. This contains our basic Quarkus project. So click on OK. So now we have downloaded our hello world.zip program. Now we need to import this hello world.zip into our IntelliJ or any suitable IDE. Now we need to extract the zip. Now switch over to IntelliJ. Since we have uh, created this project using Quarkus code.io, uh, the only thing which we need to do is we need to import this project into our IntelliJ. So just switch over to import project. And this is the location where I have extracted my hello world.zip. I'll select it, click OK. And then uh, we need to select as a Gradle as our build tool because we have chosen the option of a Gradle while creating the hello world program in the Quarkus code.io. So once you select the Gradle, click finish. and just wait for a couple of minutes. If you are doing it for the first time, since as you can see in my screen, this is the first time I'm downloading hello world.zip. So what will happen is it is going to import some initial dependencies, which is required for uh, testing out this hello world program. So it might take a couple of minutes or so. So as you can see, I can have a message of configure successful in 16 seconds. So Gradle has downloaded all its required dependencies, which is required for running this hello world.zip program. I'll close the readme file. And on the left hand side, you can see in the project window, we have pretty much a simple skeleton project, uh, which is just similar to a normal Spring Boot project or a Java Spring project, which you might have seen earlier. And this is our example resource class. This is a very basic class provided by a Quarkus with one uh, rest endpoint, which is hello. And this is a simple method, a simple uh, rest endpoint method implementation, hello. So this returns us the hello world. And on the right hand side, you will see in the Gradle window, we have a hello world.gradle. And in that you will have all the tasks associated uh, for our Hello World project for Quarkus. So here you will find a build and uh, we are more interested in this Quarkus task. And if I say specifically, then I'm interested in this Quarkus dev uh, because we are going to use this Quarkus dev Gradle task for running uh, our Spring, not Spring Boot, our Quarkus application. Okay, so now uh, our project is configured in our IntelliJ, so we can do an initial build. Uh, 
okay so build is successful and now we want to run the Quarkus dev project so just click on this Quarkus dev gradle task and if I see into the console window then you can see uh, our application has started in 4.03 second which is very really really fast startup time provided by a Quarkus and we can access our application on this localhost 8080 port so let's use uh, a browser to access this rest endpoint so okay so if you access localhost 8080 then you'll see a very basic page provided by a core focus and it is default page but we are interested in our rest endpoint so i'll put hello and yeah our rest endpoint is working so this is a very basic rest implementation of a quarkus and uh, with this you don't need to do anything special all the boilerplate code uh, which is required in a spring boot application has now been removed in by quarkus and you can pretty much straightforward implement your rest endpoints here if you are using the checks rs and one more feature which I would like to show you is the live reload since we are using Quarkus dev as a Gradle task or we are running our Quarkus application using this Quarkus dev Gradle task so we can use the live reload feature of Quarkus also so you don't need to do anything just change the response here and you just need to save and just switch over to browser again and refresh the rest endpoint and yes you don't need to restart your application you can pretty much access your rest endpoint uh, from the browser uh, without restarting or recompiling because uh, Quarkus does on behalf of you by on compile time because it loads all the uh, classes which has changed and it loads during the compile time so you don't need to redeploy or restart your spring boot application so this is a small demo which uh, uh, i wanted to present you in this tutorial for quarkus i hope you liked the today's session with the quarkus and if you want something similar then please put down into the comment section and also let me know how do you feel about the today's session i'll be uh, preparing some more uh, topics and uh, will be uploading on my channel so till then, goodbye. Thank you.